Folks, we want to show you the only five exercises you need to get stronger. This episode is all about back to the basics. We're going to have Alyssa and Sam helping us out. This is the Pat Flynn Show. I'm Pat Flynn. This is Sam. This is Alyssa. Let's get started. The secret to a good strength program is to strip it down to its fewest, most fundamental components and leave it at that. Push, pull, hinge, squat, carry. So we're going to show you five fundamental kettlebell exercises that you can use to build a solid foundation of strength with. So the first exercise that I want to cover is the double military press. The double military press is great for building upper body strength and power. It builds thickness and muscle, especially on the upper pecs and the delts, but beyond that, it forces you to use your deep inner core stabilizers and really works the abs so that way you can maintain a long, tall position while moving weight overhead. So the key things to keep in mind while doing the double military press are to maintain full body tension, keep your abs braced and your glutes tight so that way you don't lean back while pressing the weight overhead. Secondly, you wanna start in the rack position with your fist below your chin and your forearm against your rib cage. You wanna finish in a full lockout with your bicep next to or even slightly behind your ear. So the second exercise we're going to use to develop strength with kettlebells is a double clean. Now normally I should say for a hip hinge, use something like a deadlift. The only problem is kettlebells often don't go heavy enough to get the maximum benefit from deadlifting. So instead, we're gonna work on the opposite end of the force velocity spectrum and be explosive with the hip hinge and do double cleans to develop our strength and power. The key things to keep in mind with the double clean are to be as explosive as possible. I want you to imagine that you're jumping through your heels. So you're driving your hips forward and pushing your heels as hard as you can into the ground to come into a full standing position. As you do that, you want to imagine you are drawing the kettlebells up your center line, almost like you're zipping up a big coat and finishing in the rack position, which is the same place that you start for the double military press. The next exercise to develop strength and power with kettlebells is the front squat. The kettlebell front squat can be done in a number of ways. It can be done with a goblet position, a single position, or the double position. The double kettlebell front squat is gonna give you the most bang for your buck in terms of developing strength and power. It's gonna develop your core, your thoracic posture, as well as the quads, glutes, hamstrings. So the key things to remember with the front squat is your rack position, make sure the elbows aren't flaring out, make sure that you have good posture, and that your feet are in a good position. You don't want them too close together, too wide, and you don't want them flared out in or out too much. The next exercise isn't technically a kettlebell exercise, it's a bodyweight exercise. We're talking about the chin-up. However, as you get stronger, you can tie a kettlebell around your waist to add additional resistance. What's great about the chin-up is it helps develop full body pulling power. It balances out a lot of the pushing that we do. It's great because it develops your upper body strength, your back muscles, as well as your biceps. As you approach your chin-up, some cues you want to keep in mind. Keep your body tight. When you grip the bar, focus on pulling your elbows towards your hips. In other words, power through to really pull your body up to the bar so that your chest is aimed at the bar, not just your throat. The final exercise to develop strength and power with kettlebells is the loaded carry. The loaded carry is exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna be carrying kettlebells around to add load to your body. A couple important things to remember when you're doing loaded carries. One, it's gonna work your grip, so be careful. Happy feet are important. Two, you have to maintain your posture. So once you start adding weight, you might start twisting and bending. Keep an upright posture all the time. Number three, remember to breathe. Breathe normally, but you gotta to remember to breathe. Strength training is so important. If you want to lose weight, you should be If you want to gain muscle, you should be strength training. If you want to get stronger, obviously, you should be strength training. So my challenge to you, my invitation to you, is to spend the next 30 days really owning the basics. On day one, you practice cleans. On day two, you do front squats and chin-ups. Keep the reps low, somewhere around five or fewer. 
Keep the weight high and I promise you, you're gonna be very happy with the results.